ஹாய் டு எவ்ரி ஒன் மைசல் கோகில பிரியா அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸ் கேஎஸ்ஆர் காலேஜ் ஆஃப் ஆர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் சயின்ஸ் ஃபார் உமன் டுடே ஐ ஆம் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் சாஃப்ட்வேர் ப்ராஜெக்ட் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் யூனிட் ஒன் த ஃபஸ்ட் டாபிக் இஸ் இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் டு காம்பிடென்சிஸ் In the early stages of software project management, the best programs were promoted to, to the role of project manager because they demonstrated competence with the tools, programming languages, compilers, etc. and often displayed knowledge of your domain such as scientific, business or real-time application. They frequently did not succeed in this position because they were unprepared for situations outside of the technical realm. Now we know that every software manager needs skill for beyond knowing how to code. A working knowledge of software engineering is necessary to succeed but a good software manager needs to excel in people and project and management skills too. We have compiled a list of the essential competencies employed by the most successful software project managers and organized them into three categories product project people. The first one is product development techniques. The product development techniques having 11 criteria. Uh, we are going to discuss about that. The first one is assessing process and defining criteria for reviews. Second one is awareness of process standards, understanding process standards. Third one is defining product, identifying customer environment. The fourth one is evaluating alternative processor and evaluating various, various approaches. Uh, for fifth one is uh, managing requirements and monitoring requirement changes. Sixth one is managing subcontractors, planning, managing and monitoring performance. Performing the initial assessment, assessing difficulty, risk, cost and schedule. The eighth one is selecting methods and tools, defining selection process, tailoring process, modifying standard process to suit your project. The 10th one is tracking product quality, monitoring quality of an evolving product. The 11th one is understanding development activities, uh, learning the software development life cycle. The next one is project management skills. Uh, the, first one, uh, the first criteria for project management skill is building a work breakdown structure. Uh, building a work breakdown structure for a project. Next one is documenting plans. Identifying key components. Next one is estimating cost. Estimating cost to complete the project. Uh, 15th one is estimating effort. Estimating effort required to complete the project. 16th one is managing risk. Identifying and determining the impact and handling of risk. 17th one is monitoring development, monitoring the production of software, scheduling, creating a schedule and key milestones. Next one is selecting metrics, choosing and using appropriate metrics. Next one is selecting project management tools, knowing how to select project management tools. Next one is tracking process, monitoring compliance of project teams. Next one is tracking project process, monitoring progress using metrics. This is a product development life cycle, di- uh, life cycle diagram. Uh, the first step is concept exploration. Then we are going to system e- exploration. Then uh, requirements. Then design. Then implementation. Then installation. Then operations and support. Then maintenance and retirement. So these are the software uh, de- product development life cycle process in software project management. Uh, the last one is software development process. This is the process for software development. First one is process steps, then process gates, then prototypes. Uh, we have to discussing. Uh, first one is requirement definition. Then we are going to high level design. Then detailed design. Then system construction. Uh, then system verification and validation. Then system delivery. So, first one is risk deduction, reduction, then planning, estimating, metrics, training, uh, CM and quality. This is the overall process in um, software development life cycle. Uh, the organization develop custom software products that are then turned over the client organization to cooperate and maintain. 
early visibility into proof of concept feasibility and design were very important so prototypes were incorporated early in the life cycle a pure evolutionary prototyping life cycle was not used because the client received formal review steps and a time boxed process step to measure performance so organization began with a straight forward waterfall model and ended it with prototypes reviews and the integral process directly from uh, 1074 thank you